Okay, so the mic is back on. Camera's on. I actually did put the camera down to just try to keep it on and rolling, but the I guess the attachment on the iPhone um, came loose or Siri came on or some kind of bullshit that stopped it. But I did get the shoes switched. I got my hiking shoes in here and I got my... Um, Damn, I'm bad with these angles. There, water shoe on. And I'm going to cross right here, actually. Yeah. Literally this time, actually, for realsies. And I have a waterproof case on my phone, but I have an attachment that opens the case. So if I drop my phone in here, and this thing isn't... Like, the selfie stick doesn't actually screw in. It's just like kind of a flimsy... Attachment. So, like, if this drops in, I'm out a lot of money, which sucks. And this won't be uploaded, which would really suck, because then it would be a loss for nothing. Um, but I don't think it has to come to that. It probably will, knowing my luck, but let's see. This is really nice. Aha, in the water. Yeah, so I've done gold panning here. I have a coworker at one of my jobs that says he wants to go with me. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's one of those situations where they kind of suggest something and then it doesn't come through. And maybe not because anything like not vibing with the guy. This is really nice, see? That's really nice. Um, but... Just that schedules don't match up. Everyone's busy now. Everyone's got two, three jobs. They're in school. They're in training. And I don't think anything is really going to pan out for much people. Many people doing it that way. Um, but I don't know if being online is going to pan out for people either. I think mean, it's kind of there's only so much so many people can do. So... There's this nice watering hole. Ha ha ha. That would be better if I wasn't in it because it would just be a nature uh, shot. But I was in it because I can't switch the camera around. And I've already done nature shorts of this exact water hole. So if you haven't viewed my nature shorts, you're missing half the channel. Probably the better half of the channel. But to each their own. Um, I'm going to have to put the camera down again, so I'm going to have to be editing this video all night like a dingus, which is a leap of faith to assume that people are going to watch this, which they might, which would be cool. Thanks if you do. So I'm going to switch my shoes again. I think this is going to turn off if I put this down, but I'll see. Nope, stayed on this time. Could even just hang out here. Look at me, nature podcast. I do have a microphone. That's kind of the idea when I get to the top. Should have brought a towel. Didn't bring a towel. Towels are good to use for drying things. It's like that South Park towel -y. Don't forget to bring a towel. Put these shoes in the shoe bin. The bag. In which we call thus forth a shoe bin. Ha ha ha. Shoe bin bag for the shoes. So I'm going to put this sock on my foot. That's where they go. I want to... Get some of the sand off of that foot. And I'll put the sock on. One sock. This is the best vlog of all time, by the way. And then the second sock.
Alright. This is really nice. Fuck, look at those trees behind me. Jesus Christ. This is really nice. I needed this, to be honest. I've been cooped up so much. Nature is better than the city. I mean, if we're going to be real. Um, I think what's going to have to happen is more dense density in the cities and then just people coming out, maybe crowding out here, which would kind of suck. But I think we'd need to develop more parks and um, put some trails in. Be good to be like a, a ranger. I don't know why you need a university degree to do that job. It's just kind of cutting brush out of trails and hanging out. But um, that is what it is. I'm going to put my water shoes back in my backpack. I'm going to show you kind of some of the stuff I brought, but I don't know if it matters. Got my other. Canon camera in case my iPhone dies, but um, doesn't have much battery and the mic can't connect to this camcorder, so it is what it is. And then I got a stand for when we go up to the top. I have a glass jar for my protein shake, which can shatter if I drop this, so that, that's a bit of a risk, but I prefer drinking out of glass than plastics, especially on a hot day. You're just getting like a, a soup of microplastics if you're drinking that. So glass is a good idea for that. I put the shoes at the back and I put the, the soles to my back. So then it's a padded back. I put the jar on the side. And then I put this after. Where's the camcorder? Right by my buttocks. I'll put that last, but I'll put it there so I don't lose it. This is my food bag. I have some hazelnuts and some bagels and a granola bar. Which I'm going to be dead at the end of this because it's, it's getting hotter and the sun is right on me. So I'm going to need to get some shade or something. And I didn't bring a lot of water. Like you saw that protein shake. That's all I have. And it has some creatine in it, which kind of dehydrates you a bit. It pulls the Makes you more thirsty. I don't know if it dehydrates you, but you got to drink a lot of water with it. Um, I got OCD, so I, I checked like 10 times to see if I got everything, which is probably annoying to people. And I'm maybe going to leave it in. Because I think the gaps of me talking are going to be even better than the vlog parts. Because you can just kind of chill out and look at the background, but I could be wrong. Shoes. Got this, got that, this. My OC has actually gotten a bit better. It was at one point where it would take me two hours to shower, and it was so crazy I'd only do it like once a week. That was pretty shitty. I had to get on pills to help me through that. I don't know if the pills had a placebo effect or if it actually helped. That's debatable. Um, Kind of drawing lines throughout my body right now it's just kind of some kind of mental stimming i go front back side side up down all around cross x circle square i do that mentally like two three hundred times a day and i find that just sitting here and zoning out would would help with that a little bit sometimes but you still do it it just it gives you something to focus on the vitamin d to help with the depression so it makes it a little bit easier Okay, I'm going to get up. You're going to be on the ground for a little bit looking at my feet. But the microphone is still on. You know what? I could probably even just leave that there and just have like a shot of the nature and then me talking like narrating, hey, look at that tree over there. Look at that creek down there. But I can't see the monitor. I don't know what you're seeing and I don't really have a zoom on that I can use um, remotely. I'm just kind of scanning my bag right now. I just kind of stare at the bag and I inspect the sides and the, the zipper is secure and it's 
Sometimes it can take like 10 minutes, but I'm going to try to cut the time down. It's definitely annoying. Wish I could stop doing shit like that, but it is actually a lot better than it's ever been. It was pretty severe like four or five years ago. It's pretty decent right now. Um, my wallet. This got my knife, got my keys, microphone, my necklace, my chain, my bracelet, hat, and I got my hair. Okay, so we're gonna do the hike now. I had a little sip of the protein shake. It's made me more thirsty than last because of the creatine and me sitting in the heat. Um, but this is the area, and I think I'm gonna walk this way because there's more shade this way. There's also more um, grown out brush, um, so I might not be able to get like a clear start to the hiking trail. Actually, I'll have to check to see if I got everything. Um, but it will at least um, All right. My ex-girlfriend was like that too, which is kind of why it worked. Because we, we would go on these, like, um, we actually were here before. Like, we had a fire right right there when it wasn't a fire ban, and we just chilled, and it was nice. Um, yeah, we should. We would both, like, check things over and over and over. You know, there's a path on this side too. So I think the easiest thing, if we're going to do this, is to just nut up and shut up and walk up that way. But I am going to probably walk straight for five minutes and then double back after deciding that that was the best way. And then we'll do it anyways, but we'll walk around for a bit to see if there's a better way. Zoom out by extending my arm. If anyone's watching this, big shout out to you because... I feel like a dickhead talking to myself. That actually would probably be pretty good to go up that way too. Bibbity 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 bop pop bibbity. Bibbity fobbity fip pop pibbity pibbity pip pop pibbity pibbity pop pop pibbity. Pibbity poppity pibbity pibbity pop. Pibbity poppity poppity pibbity poppity poppity pop. Whoopity 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 pibbity pibbity pop. Pibbity poppity poppity pibbity 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 pop. You know, that's the kind of shit that you got to know. Okay, this is actually going to be a lot easier this way. So I was wrong about the doubling back. I want to film that tree on the way back um, on my camcorder because it's interesting. If I come down the same way and hopefully you can see it. <laughs> you can see it. I can't zoom, but it's this fucking tree right there. Look at that. Standing above everyone thinking he's so good. Which he is. Fucking sexy bastard. Wonder what his IG is, that tree. Sexy goof. Alright. Let's keep moving. Ah. Ah. I feel the autism setting in. Good thing there's no normies around. Um, I handled that convo like a beast back there, the lady that was asking about the camera. Okay, so, look at this, look at that. <laughs> I am getting tired and thirsty. God damn it, we haven't even started the hike yet. God damn it. Thanks, Obama. All right. I'm going to walk up this way. We got some power lines. Ha ha. Power lines. Woo. Ooh. Ooh, power lines? Oh, yeah, fuck yeah, power lines. Oh my god. 
actually it was actually better back there and I am going to have to double back. So I was originally right, then I was wrong, and then I was right again. And then the second time of being right confirms that I should have never, never even came down this way in the first place. I'm getting so mad. Not really. I think I need to say less. I think I'm saying too much. I'm trying to force it too heavy. Good nature. I'm going to now do minimal talking because I have burnt out my extroversion and things to say. So we are now entering a more quiet phase. We're going to get down to business. It'd be funny if I was burning out that kind of shit now again, but I'm going to actually behave from there, and I'm going to climb up this. Should I do it? I should do it. Let's fucking do it. I'm walking the hill. I'm going to have ticks for sure at the end of this. Might sleep well tonight after all this, so that would be a benefit. Yesterday I went downtown and I kind of stayed out a little late and watched the street performers, which was honestly a waste of time. But I knew the street performer. He's a blind guy. I know a surprising amount of blind people. I don't know. Because of the vision impaired group that comes into my work, that's where I know them from. And Craigslist singles. <laughs> yeah, when the camera's on, I can't shut up. When it's on me, when it's off me, I can't say anything. Because I'm just doing chill nature shots. So, that's the creek behind me. Trees. Hit a stick there. I don't think it's going to be loud because I have the mic on my chest. Is the mic on? Mic's on. I'm pretty happy with this mic, so I'm going to do a mic review on this. Unless I get home and the mic was shit, then I'll still do a mic review, but it'll be very negative. Very, very negative. Okay. Yeah, there's no way that I'm not going to get ticks going through all this. I mean, I can't zoom in, but like all these shrubs, like it kind of blends in because it's all dead and camouflaged, but like it's foot high. Bluegrass is dried out basically, I think. These are from woodpeckers, these holes. These are pretty cool. I have some woodpeckers on the channel. Um, I'm hoping to streamline the channel, delete, or something with the videos that are like in five views, and maybe improve my thumbnails. But I mean, to do that, I'm taking time away from like my employment and my other stuff so I'd have to take this on full time to really get full on into doing thumbnails and algo stuff and learn all of it I guess that kind of shows you kind of the grass that I'm going through I don't have any ticks on me yet but I'll have one for sure 
I used to do this a lot when I was a kid, just kind of go off trail and just hike and mountaineer and nothing too impressive. And compared to like other people that are doing like these intense videos where they're dropped out of helicopters and they have fucking so much money and they're just fucking high achievers and God bless them, but it's not really me. I'm kind of lower in the achievement spectrum, but I still get it done and I still have an interest in this. Um, yeah, the threat of ticks is kind of annoying me right now because this is like I might have fucking like three or four. I could have wore jeans, but I mean, it doesn't really protect you that much and I would have been sweating like ridiculous. It would have been gross. Um, kind of want to find a shady spot. I haven't had a break yet. I honestly never have breaks when I do these hikes though. It would just basically be a break from filming and talking rather than moving. I try to just always keep it moving and just pressure through, but my pressuring through is pretty slow, like my paste. I'm like an old tractor trying to climb these mofos. This might be like two hours long, this vlog. I don't even know what the retention on it would be in 30 seconds. I'm going to literally upload a two hour video and get a retention of 30 seconds and it's going to tank my whole channel. So. We're just getting it in. We're just doing something. We're trying something. Literally talking to myself. Should have just been sitting at home fucking. Ah, nah, that's bullshit, too. And it's not for the channel, it's for me. And then the talking is just like a lottery ticket to see if it works. That big tree has a house on it. That one that sticks out. It's got a house, you can't see it properly. This is nice. This is nice. For show, for show, for show, for show. This is a deer trail here. So I think I'm going to take the deer trail down this way. I'm just kind of double checking if there's any positive aspect. Potentially, I can just take that back further down the creek, cross at a different spot, and then get to the parking lot when I'm staying on this trunk side more on the way back. But I think for now, it makes sense to go this way to see how far I can get up, which is probably not very far because I actually thought that this rock part here, which is going all the way around. I thought it actually stopped and you could get a break to go up and behind, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. It seems like you actually need a, a rope to do any of this. Oh. But it's still a day out. Still probably gonna be the last day of summer, not technically, but with um, sunrise, sunset, and the weather, and scheduling, and I think it's gonna be the last last real go at this, so I gotta do it now. And this is kind of me in my natural environment. So it's good to have on the channel just so people can see what I like doing and they're interested in that, which is part of a vlog, isn't it? I think I will Keep going up this way here, and I'll try to get to this side, and then maybe boulder a little bit up here. And then if I can get like halfway up to that thing, up the side, without killing myself, because I haven't done this in a long time, I'll call it a success for the day. But I've been in the direct sunlight this whole time, so I'm pretty thirsty, and I'm not really... <laughs> 
prepared physically for this right now. Um, I don't see any like birds really. Um, no coyotes, no birds. It's kind of there's probably like a lizard or two hanging out hiding somewhere, but I haven't seen many things at this at this go. So I'll probably dissect this video into five or six pieces, post the long one, and then have a bunch of shorts taken out from this, um, and then go from there. This is nice. It's dead log. Right here. Creates a trail almost. Like you can kind of just do a life hack and go through the fucking dead fucking log. It's like an accidental trail. It's nice. It's a, it's cutting me a break here. Oh yeah, I can at least go up the shale, like the loose shale. I like doing that. It's like a treadmill. It, the dusty shit goes on your legs and makes you feel like you're doing something. It's cool. This is a good break area. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do an ASMR little segment here. Good work. So I'll do that and I'll just kind of probably edit that into a clip too if I can find it when I'm uploading it. Maybe people will be interested in that. Like if I could, during the snowy season, just kind of climb up a snowy bank, get like a hot chocolate and just do like a whisper video up there. That might get views. That might be niche. You know, that might build the algo. Um, I don't think people doing ASMR are going to add physicality to it when they have to actually have to hike up a mountain to do an ASMR video. I think that I would have a little bit of an edge on some people if I could get the time to do it, which we'll see. If I can find a niche in that, I'll definitely do it. This is a good area to cross down. There's a path in there somewhere. I can't really point at it, but there is. Someone suggested doing an ASMR video about um, oh, about uh, eating. That's easy. Like that's done. Consider that done. Like I can, I can eat some cereal and try out this new mic, and then just set up my iPhone. It'd be easier than doing all the um, Yeti setup and all that stuff. It'd be, yeah, I can definitely make it at least halfway. Get a good view of the creek from above. Get the camcorder out, do a couple of videos of just kind of the zoom of the creek down there. I could do a lot with this footage actually because it's quite long. It's going to be like two and a half hours and I could edit it down to like 20 minute videos or one long one or I could do different things with it. So I think I'll edit that tomorrow because it's Sunday. I wanted to go to a church group tomorrow which I still could do in the morning, but it would break up the day if I wanted to just do a grind day of editing videos. It wouldn't really work well. So I probably have to just put NBA young boy song outside today. Not going outside today.
Bam. I remember when I was on Seroquel, which is an antipsychotic. It made me extremely psychotic, and I thought I was like a famous person because I had a YouTube channel with 1,000 subscribers at the time. And I'd be like, oh my god, I can't go outside. The paparazzi will get me. And I was fucking out of my mind. I was like, I'd shower once a month. I would have like an Angry Birds t-shirt on. Fucking just completely out of my fucking mind. Some barbed wire here.